What's up, my DoorDash gang? What's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Owl, coming at you with another video. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. All right, guys, we got an order. We're going to Chick-fil-A. Real quick. Yeah, guys, shout out to my team, man. They got me out of there last night, 10 hours. Three days, guys. I'm at 38 hours in three days, guys. So you know if I'm at 38 hours in three days, you can imagine what the Coca-Cola family has. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, guys. Good morning to you. Just real quick, guys. Miss Week said, "Thank everybody for their prayers and comments. I really appreciate y'all. Those that commented on uh, Miss Week moms, I really, 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 from the bottom of my heart, appreciate what y'all did, guys. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Family always stick together. Well, guys, please, thank you for that. And her mom said, thanks to everybody." For what they did, guys. I appreciate that, guys. I don't know Miss Weeks, but she's a sub. And she's going through. So if she's going through, we all going through. Thank you, guys, man. That was some heartfelt messages. Now I got to get her on that video so she can comment to you guys and say thank you to you guys. So I really appreciate that, man. That means a lot to me. You know? I really do, guys. Can't tell you how important it is, guys, that you know that I treat, you know, treat y'all like family. Y'all treat me like family. I spend more time with you guys than I do sometimes with, with my own family. So I have to consider y'all family. But we're going to Bruce B Downs, we're not going to the one that I be trying to be quick to. But this Chick-fil-A right here is starting to get hot, man. I'm gonna start having to sit up here. Where the money at? I haven't had my coffee yet, guys, but I got my umbrella. <laughs> guys, I tell you, man, back in the day, guys, me and my group of friends, man, we thought we were thugs, you know what I mean? It could be pouring down raining, guys, and they one of us to have an umbrella. You'd be like, man, I'm a thug. I'm just gonna get wet. I ain't putting up no umbrella. Umbrella for sissies. <laughs> That's what we call it, sis. Man, I got two now. I got a large one and a small one, guys. I keep it in my car. Shoot. My wife tried to give me one of them little colorful ones. I like little baby. You going too far? Just give me either a red and white one or a black and white one. I don't need the ones with the color. I still got that, you know. I got two percent in me, you know. I got that. Can't just give me an umbrella with a bunch of colors on it, man. I can't do that. You know, I might be seen out there. Give me a solid white or a solid red and black. I'm good. You know what I mean, guys? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all up there is trying to thug. Out here running around with no umbrella. I got the one to come down on you guys. You know, I got you know, I had to do it big, man. Shoot. Got an umbrella walk uh, wrap around you. Ain't nothing getting wet but my feet. That's about it. All right, guys, this order right here is for eight dollars and fifty-one cent. <laughs> Can't beat that. And it's um, eight dollars and sixty-four cent. Supposed to be there at seven fifty-three. We're gonna get there a little bit early, guys. Real quick to all the new subscribers and the old. Um, when you get orders at fast food restaurants, you want to try to get there as quick as you can. You know what I mean? You want to try to get it, so to get it to the customer as quick as you can. That helps your ratings out. Because when you get a person they food early and it's hot, even if they're having a bad day, it's hard for them to give you a bad rating. Unless they're just a bad person. So that's what I use. That's the tech. One of the techniques I use to try to keep my rating. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna get this food. See you on the other side. All right, guys, we here. Let me get my umbrella out. It ain't raining hard like it was, guys. It's funny, y'all. Tampa is the only place I know that rained real hard for like 10 minutes. I mean, just flood for 10 minutes and then it stopped to be sunny outside. Only place in the world. Y'all thought I was joking. Your boy got one of them big long umbrellas. I ain't playing with them guys. All right, guys. Oh, snap. We're going to go in here. In this place, I got to take the bag. So we're going to take this bag in here, guys. All right, guys. See you in a second. All right, guys. First order, first problem. So one of the items they didn't have, so I got to get them to take it off. But before I can go, they told me to wait. Now the customer food going to be late. I don't know why they don't have something like Postmate. If they don't hi have it, you can just hit it. They don't have and they go away. DoorDash, you got to call customer service. Then customer service got to call the customer or the store to verify. Then you got to wait another five, ten minutes and then they had to take it off. Oh my God. Come on, answer me back. This don't make no sense, God. All right, Miss Weeks. Thank you for commenting on the page. You got a lot of support out here, so we can continue to say prayers. Keep us updated. Make sure that we know what's going on. Okay, cool. They just gave me the permission to leave. I am getting the hell out of here. And they just got to refund her her money. First bill on the left, 503. All right. In session. I'm gone, guys. Give this person their food. The only thing I hate about this Chick Fil A right here, this they they knew with DoorDash, they don't put all everything that you ask for. They don't put it in the bag. You have to ask for the um, Chick Fil A sauce and all that stuff. That's the only thing I hate. The other Chick Fil A, they 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 got it down. This Chick Fil A right here. They need some help. All right, guys. My GPS is off her punishment. We're going to see how she do. She's still acting up, guys. Turn right. We're going to whoop that turn chick. Right. Those that commented in on the um, page for Miss Week's mother, thank you so much. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, guys. Turn right. Like I said, guys, I treat my, my subs like family, and this is a family-oriented page. I know I didn't say that right, but um, we care about each other, you know. And we don't take our own people, guys, who is. See what kind of president we got. TB Christmas. Man. He's still waiting for Frederick Douglass to come to the White House. And what kind of mess is that, guys? Unbelievable. All right, guys, I'm going to go deliver this food, and then we're going to talk some more. Don't have a topic yet? Yeah, I do. Miss Weeks, you just created a topic for the day, guys. Guys, if family means everything to you, make sure you write in the comments that family means everything. Because it's showing sure up me, everything to me, guys. Without my family and my support, I don't know what I do, guys. You know? So if family means something to you guys, make sure you write it in the comments. I don't care how things go. Thank you, love. I don't care how, how bad things go or what kind of situation I'm in. If I call my moms, if I need to borrow $100 or $200, I call my mom, guys. She will put a bill to the side to make sure that she take care of me and then, you know, it comes with interest. <laughs> but guys, and I'm the same way with my mom, man. I give her the shirt off my back if I got it. She'll call the landlord and be like, look, you gonna get your money next week. My 
my son needs some money, I'm gonna take care of him. You can take, I'm gonna take care of you next week. That's how my mom rolled, man. Family is everything to me, guys. If family is everything to you, once again, write it in the comments. And Miss Weeks, you got a big family, girl. So you just keep us updated, and we hope she's doing well. All right, guys, I'm gonna deliver this food. I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, I had to come to a secure place. Uh, one of the ones where it's a neighborhood where you gotta show your ID. But thank God it was one of the, um, the security guard that bought food from me. Uh, so I delivered to him a couple times the other day. I didn't have my ID on me. I jumped up, grabbed my uh, shorts, and ran out the door, then grabbed my wallet. I can't get no don't get down there. But I'm going back home, guys. Get my wallet. I gotta get some coffee. You see that lazy eye? That lazy eye is halfway closed. I gotta pop that sucker open. We almost there, guys. Like I said, when I woke up this morning, guys, it was raining sideways, upside down, and it was raining hard. Now, guys, it's just a beautiful outside like it never rained before. That's Tampa for you. I remember my first time here, guys. I went in the grocery store. I left my windows cracked. I mean, down. I left my windows down. Man, I came back outside, man. I opened the door. It was, it was so much water in my car, man. This old woman said, you can't do that in Florida, honey. It rains. It had rained for 10 minutes or 20 minutes before you even know it. I was like, thanks. But do you have a towel so I can dry my seats off? <laughs> yeah, now I go in the store, guys, it could be 120 degrees. My wind is going right. all the way up. All the way up. Because it will rain real quick. All right. All right, guys, we're going to deliver this food. I'm going to come back and talk to you guys. MG, how you doing? Good morning. I hope your mother's doing well also. Hey guys, if you got um, a family member that's down, husband, wife, kids, grandmother, mother, let me know in the comments, man. I got that prayer team, man. I got some super subs, man. I got the best subs on, on YouTube. I don't care what nobody say, guys. I got the best subs on YouTube. And y'all got the best YouTube on YouTube. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. So, guys. Ah, okay, this is it right here. I'm about to go past. Alright guys, if family mean everything to you, or just tell me what your family mean to you. Turn you know, right. Shut up. I can tell you this. My family means everything to me, guys. Everything. There's nothing I won't do for my family, whether it's my YouTube family. Or my family, family. She said first building on the right, that's 600. All right, guys, I'm going to go deliver this food. We are here. If I can find a building. But yeah, guys, write in the comment what your family mean to you. Oh, snap. Went too far. She said first building on the right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't read direction well. This is the first building on the right. I'm on the fourth building on the right. <laughs> Come on, Alan, get it right. All right, guys, see you in a minute. Guys, that was the sweetest old lady. She's a hugger. I gave her food. She said, I gotta give you a hug. I'm a hugger. <laughs> I appreciated that. I need that hug. There's nothing wrong with a hug, guys. Especially when you need one. Chibi, crisp. I needed that hug. Even though she smell like Bengay, I needed a hug. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll turn down no hug, guys. She was so sweet. I almost thought that was her first order, but she was like, yes. <laughs> she had something good. She, met, she just reminded me of my grandmother, guys. That's wonderful. Yeah, guys, so today, 
I, at, at the beginning of it, I said it wrong. So today's topic is gonna be tell me what your family mean to you. You know, if they mean everything to you, say my family mean everything. It's important, guys. Family is important. If you're not speaking to your family members for whatever reason, you know you can't pick and choose your family members. But guys, as sooner or later, you're gonna have to dissolve any problems that you have with your family members. And I know I got I got some people in my family, man. That if if I if they wasn't in my family, I probably would have took them out a long time ago. But like I said, you can't pick and choose your family. But at some point in of time in your life, you want to try to resolve. Even though if you don't talk to them no more, you want to try to forgive that person he or she for what they did. And if you can't forgive them for what they did, guys, it's just going to eat you up. Trust me, guys. I got some family members, guys, that I, you know, can't, you know, speak on certain things, but I had to forgive them for myself, not for them, but for myself. I know it's hard, guys. Forgiveness is hard, man. But you gotta remember, at some point at time, somebody forgave you for something. Whether it was a family member, a boss, a friend, or girlfriend, boyfriend. I know it's hard, but you gotta do it, guys. You got to do it. That's for sure. Alright, guys, we're going back to the house and get the uh, wallet. I got to get my coffee. I was reading this sign that said, please do not feed the alligators. This water have, have alligators in it, you know. But they got a bench that sits right there at the bank of this river. Okay, if you got alligators, I don't want nobody sitting there. <laughs> oh my God. I should write up there, I should put a note on the um, benches, um, on that sign and say, okay, then you need to move this bench back 20 feet away from the water. A lot of people don't ain't gonna read that sign. They just gonna go sit down, take a load off their feet. They might mess around and lose their feet. Guys, the bench is right there at the water. But it's a sign off to the side that do not feed the alligators water and infested with alligators. Alright guys. Let me go get my coffee. I see y'all in a second. Alright guys, we down here at Chick I'm uh, not Chick fil like Dunkin' Donuts. I'm just waiting to make this U-turn. Because you know your boy got to go get it. Good morning to everybody, those just watching the video. Uh, the topic for the day is just talking about how what your family mean to you. It could be your wife, kids, it could be your mother, father, it could be family in general. But yeah, share that with us. What family mean to you guys? I know my family means the world, my immediate family, my wife and my kids and my DoorDash family, even my job family, means something to me, guys. You know what I mean? I remember at work, one of the guys told me, uh, this was in Maryland, that uh, he was having family problems. I think his mother or father was sick. And he was worried about losing his job. I mean, it ain't like he had a lot of points. He was just worried about losing his job. I like, dude, if you're working for a place and you got family issues, you know, it's a lot of stuff that you can do to protect yourself. You can apply for FMLA. If, you know, if you got a family member, wife, kid, uh, that's sick and that cause you to be late or miss days, Y'all got to look up that FMLA, man. Y'all got to make sure you got a job that uh, respect that FMLA. And I tell you, I love my job. I love the work. But some go down with the family, guys. I got to go.
Jobs always gonna be there, guys. The family is not gonna always be there. I'm talking about your immediate family. Your cousin call you and tell you that, you know, he's sick, you don't take on work for nothing. You know. <laughs> I'm talking about your immediate family. You guys, make sure y'all research that FMLA, guys. Especially if you got family members that's sick. Because that'll protect your job. This got to be the longest light I ever been to or sat at. Unbelievable. I've been here for three minutes so far. All right, guys, I'm rambling today. I got to go in early today. I got to go in an hour early. We got a meeting. Three days, guys. 38 hours. I got to go in two hours early for a meeting. That's going to push me at 40 hours in three days, guys. It wouldn't be bad if I was getting paid for it. You know what I mean? Shoot, when I used to work by the... When I used to get paid by the hour, man, you couldn't get me out of there. The managers and supervisors used to always had to hunt me down. I'd be somewhere sweeping the floor, cleaning. I'm selecting. I'm supposed to be selecting product. But as soon as the place we finish, like just say we finish in 12 hours, oh, your boy getting two more hours. I'm going to find a way to get it. I never complained when I had to work overtime and I was getting paid to be there. Man, please. They had to look. They, they always had to hunt me down. Hey guy, come on, woman. Go ahead. Go ahead, you good? Man. They used to always have to hunt me down. They was like, find Allen. He's in here somewhere. <laughs> so enough, guys. I'll be washing the windows. They were like, what the hell are you doing? Hey, man, I'm trying to make sure this place is clean. They're like, we was done two hours ago. Y'all was done. I wasn't done. They're like, you know. I got to make sure when I'm working, I'm in a clean environment. I got to get these two extra hours of overtime. I got, guys, this is no lie. I was a selector at John Food Warehouse at one point in time in my life. And uh, I got written up for having too many hours. <laughs> unauthorized hours. But I was like, how can it be unauthorized? You know, I would go clean the bathroom, guys. Work would be done. I go clean the bathroom. I'd be upstairs sweeping the floor, dusting the rugs. <laughs> they called me in the office. They sent me down and said, sir, we're going to have to write you out. I said, for what? They said, unauthorized overtime. I was like, what you mean? I was on camera. I was working. You, you, sir, you, you, you're not house cleaner, housekeeper. You're not supposed to be doing this. You're not supposed to be doing that. I said, but you got to understand. My environment that I work in has to be clean. So somebody got to do it. And that's how I became a supervisor at, at John, man. One of the um one of the uh, directors uh read my comment that uh whenever I got rolled up for something guys, I used to always, you know, I used to have to fight back. So when they asked, do you wanna make a comment, when I seen that on my write up, I was like, Oh hell yeah. You know, I'm creative. So my write up, every time I used to get write up wrote up I used to write in the comment something. It'd be deep too, guys. I would try to combat everything that they said I did. And I, I didn't get written up, but maybe twice in 31 years I've, I've been written up. No, three times. I've been written up three times. In 31 years, guys. Three times. I can count how many times I've been written up. Three times. I'm a type of person that I do what I'm told to do. You ain't going to have no problems with me. But the stuff that I was getting written up for was out of my control. I got OCD, I like to clean. <laughs> as long as I'm getting paid for it. If I ain't getting paid for it, guys, I want to go home. If you're not going to pay me for being there, I don't want to be there. You feel me, guys? But for eight hours, guys, if you have a job. Now, this I'm, I'm shipping. I'm shipping here. Now, if you have a job, right, and you have to go to work for eight hours. Guys, if you can't go to work for eight hours and do what somebody say, tell you to do for eight hours. I, 
I'm speechless. I, I, I don't understand, guys. We, we got people that come to work and they have a job that they have to do. But when they come to work, they don't want to do that job. But they expect you not to say nothing to them. And at the end of the week, they want to get paid. You know? But you got to be a sorry individual. For eight hours, man, you can't take yourself out of that situation and do what somebody told you to do. Now, don't get me wrong. If you can't, if you can't work for eight hours and, and listen to what somebody got to say, guys, you need to own your own business. You know, you got to have your own business. Because every job I work to have, have worked at have rules and regulations. And if you can't follow those rules and regulations, guys, and then you get mad when somebody writes you up or talk to you about that situation, guys, I'm, I'm not understanding that. Yeah, but for eight hours, guys, if you tell me to come to work with one shoe on and one sock off, that's how I'm coming to work, guys. Because for eight hours, I got, I'm got i going to do what you tell me to do. Now, if I'm mad, when I get off, I'm going to get in my car. I'm going to cuss you out. <laughs> but at the end of the week, my money better be straight. But yeah, guys, I just had to get that off. I got some co-workers that work, work for me. They're watching the videos now, so I got to send them subliminal messages. And don't get me wrong, all the ones that watch my video, I don't have a problem with. They know me, and they've done everything that I asked them to do. And I respect them because they, they, they hustle. They, you know, some of them are hustling, but you can't, you can't hustle a hustle. You know what I mean, guys? I love working with my employees, guys. You know, I got a lot of respect for them. I know they, they got a lot of respect for me, but I have a lot of respect for them. But I got to change their ways, though. I'ma change their ways, trust me. They hard workers, but they wanna work hard when they wanna work hard. They don't wanna work hard when we need them to work hard, so. We gotta, we gotta change that culture. All right, guys, like I said, I'm just rambling along today. Oh, shit. I'm sitting here in front of Dunkin' Donut. Forgot what I was here for. Let me go get my coffee, guys. Y'all a distraction, man. <laughs> hey, guys, it's funny this morning. I went in there, Chick-fil-A. Like I said, I mean, not Chick-fil-A. God, I got to get back to Chick-fil-A. See, I done said Chick-fil-A three times, so it must be an order waiting for me there. Oh, that's good right there, guys. Ah. So, I go in and Dunkin' Donut. So, the three people that normally make my coffee, all three of them dead a day. <laughs> so, I had to pick and choose who I wanted to make my coffee. I couldn't pick and choose. So we flipped the coin, guys. That got to be special, guys. I'm telling you, they made me feel good when I come here, guys. I had to flip a coin who's going to do my uh, coffee, guys. You can't beat that, guy. I'm living the life when it comes to Dunkin' Donut, guys. My God. And I got a free donut. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, MG called me a, a French Vanilla Cream Hustler. Because <laughs> I make them go up. I, I make them pump. All the way down so I can get that cream, you know. It's a certain way, guys. That cream got to hit that cup and go around it, you know what I mean? And it can't go around if you just squeeze, 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 squeeze. It, it, it only happens when you give it to the full squeeze, you know what I mean? So, for extra large, you get five squeeze on the pump, you know. I get an extra shot so I get six. I just like that French vanilla guy. That the French vanilla got me hooked like it's cracked. I'm hooked. But anyway, all three of them was dead today. So we had to flip a coin and see who's gonna make my coffee, guys. And they gave me a free donut. I'm telling you guys, you'd be surprised how you treat people, guys. If you make if you walk in the store, guys, and you see an employee not smiling or something, that's an employee that's not happy with their job. If I go in the store, I see an employee not happy. Or well, it's not smiling. They're gonna be smiling by the time I get out of there, guys. I like putting smile on people's face, guys. Y'all don't know what laughter does to a person. You know, if you can get a good laugh or a good cry, man, that's 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 a that's a feel that's a good feeling right there, man. I can't even watch a movie without crying, guys. I am the biggest wussy when it comes to watching movie. I be holding back my tears. I see my wife, she be looking at me like, I know this nigga ain't crying. I be like, oh, my allergies. Uh, in the movie theater, guys, it be dark. It's just, I don't 
don't know, guys. Dog get killed in the movie. I'm crying like a little baby. You know what I mean? Good guy gets shot. I'm crying. <laughs> I don't know what it is, guys. But I be getting my tears out in some movies, man. And I can watch the movie 500 times, guys, and still cry on a certain scene. And when I say cry, I don't mean cry. I mean tear come out your eyes. You, your eyes get water. I'm talking about that type of cry. I don't be bawling. But yeah, guys. I be trying to hide from my wife. She'll come in the room. I be walking, watching um, Lost. That family where they find people. Your loved ones you ain't seen in a long time. That thing had me teared up. My wife said, why your eyes all red? Oh, girl, you know I worked the long hours last night. You ain't even worked last night. <laughs> Stuff like that, guys. You know? I'm a sucker for movies, guys. I watch the same movie 500 times. My wife will come in the room. Don't let it be uh, something that I really love and it come on like Bad Boy 2. Oh, man, I watch that every time it come on. My wife was like, you got a hundred and something channels and you watch the same thing over and over. Psst. I be saying the parts with them, or I said before. And I'm a big Samuel L. Jackson, Denzel, Wesley Snipes. Those are my boys. So any movie that come on... They, they in I gotta watch it You know what I mean So Wifey hate looking at TV with me guys She be in the room I be in the living room Either I'm laughing or crying I'm telling you guys And that's something guys I'm telling you I don't care how, how big you are How thuggish you are Guys everybody need a good laugh And a good cry If you can put those two together guys Man, it just it just takes a lot off you, man. It takes a lot off your chest. It takes a lot off your mind. Crying and laughing relieves stress. I don't care what nobody say. It relieves stress. <laughs> so y'all need to try it out, guys. When you're watching the video, if you're laughing and crying at the same time, hot damn, you're going to feel good afterwards. Trust and believe. All right, guys, don't look like I'm going to get another order. And you know I'm about to hit that critical time of this video. It's about to split on me. So guys, you know what I got to say. This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Owl. Guys, I'm out. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing, you better get yourself some dashing grub, guys. Talk to you later. Miss Weeks, I hope your moms feel better. MG, your moms, I hope she feeling better. Because y'all got to go get that money as soon as they start doing better. Talk to you later. Peace.